way through the nightlife I was thinking on God for the high life I was using your love as a nightlight Till I lost outside my way Then I bury myself lonely Still remember what my mama told me Jesus is the reason Right, 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 break it on down Well, Chase Tony, what's good? What's good? I know y'all seen me in this shirt again, but your boy just got off of work. Um, as you guys can see, I'm currently in a trade on UJ. And I won't lie, this pair this week has been hurting me. But I'm in a sell right now on UJ. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what it's looking right like now. This is the four hour time frame. Y'all know I could do top down for y'all. This is the one hour time frame. Um, and then this is the 30 minute. I'm shooting for it to fill, I'd have to show you on trading view, but I'm shooting for it to fill the wick that it made yesterday when I showed you guys that crazy drop. But real quick, man, I was at Smith's, y'all. Went to go buy my neighbors uh, some flowers because she cooked me and my wife some food and she brought it over to us. This is just my way of saying thank you. And I only had $8 in my account and I wanted some Reese's and these flowers cost about $5. So I wanted some Reese's. And I had got some Reese's, but these Reese's had pretzels in the middle. And I don't like pretzels. So I told the lady, I was like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, could you take these Reese's off? You know, they got pretzels. I don't like it. She's like, well, go get a different type of Reese's. I was like, oh, you know, I can't get it. I only got $8. So she took it off of me or whatever. I finished buying my stuff. And before I left, y'all, why she get me this? She's going to pay for this. Her name is Zelda. When the money hits my bank account, I am going to definitely bless her back. Because she didn't have to buy this for me. And yeah, appreciative to her, man. Like, God God has been working in my favor lately. And I've been going through some stuff. But that's not the point of this video. Just want to show you that I'm in a trade right now. Um, so yeah, let me take you out a trading view real quick. So you guys can see what my TP is. Alright, y'all. So I took my face off. There's no need to see me anymore. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all might miss your boy's handsome face, but... Anyways, my TP is 147.431. I'm thinking it will fill this wick right here that it did. I think this was Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Um, so that's that's what I'm going for. Price could reverse against me. I'll be losing about seven dollars, but um, I'm I'm believing price is gonna go down. It broke out once or did a fake out, went back into the consolidation range and broke out again. So we're just gonna wait and see. Let me go to the four hour on here. Yeah, we're just going to wait and see. We still got an hour and something on this four-hour candlestick. So, yep, that's it, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all how this is looking, how price is going. So, peace, peace. We out of here. Well, Trace family, real quick, just want to have a real quick talk with you guys. So, there will be some clips in here of me entering UJ or USDJPY. I want to say twice. I think I entered it one time at 8 o'clock in the afternoon, which is still like, um, I want to say Tokyo session, which isn't my session. Um, and it was in a consolidation range. So again, impulsively, don't want to develop that habit. And also around 6.30. I think news came out around 5.30. Um, so yeah, I think it was around 6.30. I entered again. And I entered around... I'm not sure of the of the number, but um, it was still impulsively. I should have waited for the hour stick candle to close. And the reason why I'm putting these clips in there is because I want to show you guys what happens when you enter impulsively and not follow your trading plans or not waiting for a candlestick to close. Um, the first time my dog pissed on the damn trash can, excuse me, the first time I entered, which was 8 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm looking at it and I'm like, ah, man, I think it's in a consolidation range. I don't want to be in it because I'm going to lose money for no reason. So when it went back into profit, just a few cents, I closed. Just a few cents, I closed. I'm like, cool. You know, I didn't really lose any money uh, and I didn't really win any money. I'm, I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm good. 
But when I entered at the seven, you no, know, the six thirty time, before the hours did close, can't before the hour candles did close, I lost about a dollar seventy something because I closed it because I'm like, I need to wait for it to close because it could just shoot back up, and I could just be in like draw down and lose like, I had a zero point zero three, so that would have been right now I got a zero point zero two, and I'm risking about seven dollars, so if I had a zero point zero three. It probably been about ten dollars. I don't want to lose ten dollars off the bat, especially when I'm confident that price is going to go down because of it breaking the consolidation range the first time with a lot of bearish momentum, then just pushing back in, consolidating, then breaking again with heavy bullish uh, bearish momentum. Excuse me, um, and then like closing like on the thirty minute. Like you can see, one half of the candles, one half of the hour candles took on thirty minute, and then the second half of the candles took on thirty minute. So I can see the second half of the hour candlestick on the 30 minute close below. So I'm like, cool, I'm gonna enter. And at first I was gonna do a 0 0.01 lot size, right? Cause I'm like, cool, I'll just do a 0 0.01 lot size. I'm gonna wait for AU, put more of my money on AU. AU is not pushing up like I want it to. And I'm looking at UJ like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this because if it's closing like this, it's gonna continue down. That's just my projection, my analysis, my market can do whatever it wants. Um, so I entered another position around the same um, the same as my first entry. I was waiting for price to at least push back up a little bit, try to retest, you know, see what it's doing, and then enter it again. So just just want to make that real quick, man. Bro, is that a bee or a fly? Anyways, stick to your, stick to your trading plan and, and be patient. Don't enter impulsively. Wait for the candlestick to close. I'm telling you guys, I've done experienced it for you. It's not worth losing that money. And then when the setup is actually there, you already done lost money and you can't really trade again. I mean, you could, but you're just, you could just, you're just risking more than you need to. So that's all I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, peace. Y'all, so here we go. We're in these uh, two trades, but I got four entries, um, which is a little more than what I usually uh, risk. It's 40 cents, pretty much a pip right now. If you think of the 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, that equals four, it's pretty much 40 cents a pip. Um, so yeah, and I still got a little bit of free margin left, so I'm I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy right now. Let me just show you all I lost is dollar seventy six, but that was because you know my impulsive buys. I think I mentioned that in the previous clip before this one. So let me just go back to the three months, and right now we're twenty one dollars in profit. So you know that, that's good. That's good. Slow and steady. Again, we're trying to grow our account, not blow our account. We got to start small. So let's get it. Let's go. All right, y'all. So me and my wife's gonna go. Oh damn! I just got out of the shower. Me and my wife's gonna head to the gym soon, and I just remembered I have an account on my FX book, and I want to track uh, the process of my trading. Um, so I'm actually gonna show you guys why I think you guys should get it and the benefits of having it. So damn, I feel like I feel like my face is ashy. It might be, um, but the benefits of having it so that you can really track your process. And see if you are improving or not. Um, so we're finna see right now. I'm finna go ahead and turn you guys around. I hope you guys can see it pretty okay. So let's go ahead and just continue. Let me back it up a little bit. All right, so let's go to sign in. I already have it already logged in, so I ain't got to worry about that, man. It just makes it easier. So let's go to a portfolio, small account challenge is what I called it. And then it'll show you guys, you see it shows you guys um how well you're doing. Do not want those. So yeah, my account is going up pretty nicely. I, th I don't know what exactly this is. Again, I'm just learning it myself. But this is pretty cool, man. It shows you like everything your gains your differences in profit pips like for beginners this is really good for you guys to have um just to kind of help you guys track yourself um i definitely gotta turn you guys around i definitely gotta spend more time really um learning how to work this um i don't know what you call it web page or whatever you you call this but once I really get good at understanding and reading this, I'll definitely, uh, you know, update you guys and 
try to teach you guys as well but I, I recommend you guys you guys get this so far it's looking it's looking pretty good i had a little bit of a downturn um but we're doing pretty good we're doing pretty good y'all so once i can understand what this means i think this right here is saying the trade i'm in right now and this is me losing the last few trades so yeah we get in there man the road to profitability or becoming a profitable trader man like it took it took maybe a year a year and a half to get here so a year would have been april 20th 2023 we are now in october so a year and one two three four five months um and also again turning my candlesticks black to really help with my psychology and really really putting the time in to go back and actually learn or study shall i say the word study study chris williams aka swaggy c's content on his live trading lab that right there made a difference like i, I bought all his other courses when he was um like closing his academy and he was giving away all his courses for like 80 something dollars i got all of them but all those are now on the live trading lab which is a good investment so yeah man about to hit the gym with my wife but just wanted to show you guys my effects book and why i think you guys should get it peace you made me live i'm not alone you never trip you killing me on no plead in the fifth i know you were tone ain't no talk on the phone you look in my eyes i know that you're close you ain't no drop back, and nobody blocked that Heavenly blessing, a steady supply, and nobody drop back You want it forever, you king of the hill, no one get the rock back Ain't nobody stopped that, every bottle you fought that No, you never lost, cause I'm learning that they cannot take away all that you gave me It's all in your making, I'm seeing your praise and my worries are fading I know that you save me, Lord teach me to deal with this stress I feel like I'm falling, I need you to catch, I say hallelujah, my weapon is rest A thousand hallelujahs to my king We praise you a thousand hallelujahs to my king oh, We praise you A thousand hallelujahs To my king We praise Yo, Wealth Trades family It is October 6th It's 5.28 in the morning And I want to go over my trade with you guys One moment Alright, what's up family? What's up? So, I just woke up So I'm a little tired, forgive me So I lost those trades, uh, AU and UJ. UJ hit my stop loss, so I lost maybe about three close to four dollars. AU, I manually closed myself because I see it just not going in the direction I thought it was going to go. And that's how it be sometimes, man. You don't win every trade. Sometimes you have winning weeks, sometimes you have losing weeks. Today was my losing week. I'm still in profit like $14, but my account is sitting at $47, so uh, I risked a lot this week, and that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reflect on these trades and see what I could learn from these trades and how I can improve next week. Um. So yeah, however, there are some other trades that um were more favorable. So let me just go ahead real quick and hop on the charts and show you which pair that was. All right, y'all, so we're on the charts. Let's go ahead and show you which pair that is. Uh, we got a GBP. Uh, let me put this like this. We got GBP, JPY. Moving up very nicely. Um, AU, you can see, is reversing quite heavily. Um, but I'm starting to see what I messed up at. I should have waited for it to come back to the area it broke up at to see if even if it was continuing to be an uptrend. But it's okay. Look at this drop, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, UJ's off of here. I got to put that back. I don't know what I did. Um, Here we go. GBP USD. Broke the trend line. You can see it retraced. Pushed up. Coming back to retest. I don't know what's making these drop like this, but we'll look on Forex Factory. Um, but yeah, so this might actually now be in a reversal and now will be an uptrend. Oh, shit, shit, hold up. I was not, oh, my bad, y'all, was not expecting that. So, we'll be looking probably for buys next week. Um, but yeah, USD also 
broke the trend line. Probably will be looking for buys as well next week if it continues to go up. Uh, UBP odd. I actually was looking for buys, but it was just doing this weird um range of consolidation. But again, we always have next week, y'all. So it's just just doing a really weird range. If I really wanted to, I would consider this right here. Let me move this. This. Oh, what's going on? This. All this. And again, this is just part of the game, man. When you learn how to trade, this is just what it comes with. So you can technically go like this. Move that up. Move that to the first breakout. This can all just be considered a consolidation range. Again, this is just a... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, damn, I can't remember the word. But it's like when you look back. Where's... Hold up, y'all. Let me... Let me add... What the hell? I'm hoping that's the one I had. Yeah, okay, this is the one. Now look. And this is after it stopped me out. I had to reanalyze the market, so... Yeah, this is UJ. But let me show you guys exactly how much I lost. So, can I just want to be transparent? This just happens. This is just how it is. Let me go on the Forex trading. Forex trading. My FX book just to show you guys what it says. Being very transparent. I'm already. What the hell? How that? Okay, boom. So you can see dropped heavy here my account's not 55 dollars it's a uh, 40 something i'm gonna show you guys that too um where is it at boom why is it looking like this hold up y'all let, let all this load hold up hold up as y'all can see my account is sitting at 47 82 um and that's okay it's 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 it happens like this so um yeah i just want to be very transparent with you guys those trades i did lose but now i'm about to just reflect and see how i could have done better and what uh i missed out or did not see before getting into the trades so so yeah y'all that's how my trading week went i profited some lost some i mean it is what it is y'all we got next week we're just gonna reflect uh on this week, trades. Oh, yeah, man, it's 524. Well, now it's 534 in the morning. And, uh, hopefully, I just kind of journal my thoughts. Journal my thoughts down. Go ahead and uh, set my goals and tasks for next week. Reflect on my goals and tasks for this week. Um, and probably do some reading. Maybe my stretch might meditate up early. So, yeah. Anyways, man, hope you guys had a blessed and prosperous day. Hope you guys had a blessed and profitable trading week. Um, if not, don't beat yourself up. It happens. Growth happens over time. You will get better over time. You stay consistent. Consistent and disciplined equals profitability. Uh, you know, and just studying and reflecting on your trades and your doing trades and your winning trades and see how you can get better. It is okay. It is okay. Give yourself time. Be patient with yourself. Um, and that's what I'm reminding myself as well. Um... Mm. So, I get some water, y'all. I'm like dehydrated. And, and y'all, my thighs hurt. Every day brings new life when I'm by your side. So, yeah, you stay tuned in the video. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate the uh, current subscribers before the new subscribers came. I really appreciate y'all for subscribing, watching the videos. And finding value in my content. So if you guys do find value in my content. Like what I'm creating here. Let me turn this alert off. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. To join the Wealth Trades family. Where the goal is to create wealth. That will in turn turn generational. While we're gaining both our time and financial freedom. So we're just learning skills. That's going to basically help set our families free. And ourselves. So yes if that's something that interests you. Make sure that subscribe button down below. Leave a like on this video. And turn on the post notification bell. So you guys don't miss any of my future videos. Again I appreciate y'all. Peace. But I couldn't find anything even close. Anywhere that I go. Everywhere now I know. You will always have my heart. Cause you my
mí 